Now let's continue. So as I was telling that the image is formed by plane mirrors when the image when the object is placed uh, uh, symmetrical or asymmetrical. If the number is coming as even, then the total number of images which will be forming over there that will be considered to be as the number which we are good, getting over there that would be considered to be as n n minus one. अगर मान लो कि हम लोगों के पास जितने भी नंबर्स आएंगे जो भी वैल्यू आएगा तो वहां पर जैसे कि सपोज मान लो कि 360 सिक्सटी बाय सिक्सटी हम लोग देखते हैं सो so, अगर हम लोग इन दोनों को डिवाइड करते हैं तो हम लोगों के पास आ जाता है सिक्स सो दिस वुड बी द एन एन माइनस वन वुड बी द नंबर ऑफ इमेजेस विच इज गोइंग टू फॉर्म वेदर द ऑब्जेक्ट इज प्लेस्ड सेमेट्रिकल और इट इज बिन प्लेस्ड असेमेट्रिकली सो दिस इज द कंडीशन विच वी हैव टू कीप इट इन माइंड फॉर द Even situation again, I'm telling that what is symmetrical and what is asymmetrical. Uh, you know, for this thing, that if it is coming to the midpoint, suppose for example, two mirrors are placed together, and uh, if the object is present in the midpoint or the bisecting point over there, then it is called to be as a symmetrical point. So if the the number is coming, means the n is coming as even, then the total number of images which will be forming over there that will be counted to be as n minus one. Now, if the value comes for an odd number, अगर मान लो कि मेरे पास value odd number पे आ गया, तब क्या होगा? Then we have to remember for this situation that if the object has been placed in the symmetrical condition, then the images or the number of images will be counted to be as n minus one. Means what would be the what would whatever the my value would be uh, as n, and that would be. Uh, be subtracted with one, and that would be the total number of images which we can see over here. But for the condition of an odd situation, and if the if the object is placed asymmetrically, then the the total number of images which we are going to calculate or which we are going to obtain over there that will be as to be as n n only means n whatever the value we had got as to the. Value of odd. Say as for example, if uh, if I divide it by uh, say as uh, I got it as seven. Say as say say as seven with with a certain number with theta. I had divided three sixty and uh, ultimately I got it as seven. So when I get seven, as we know this seven is an odd number. So we will see for this whether the object is placed at symmetrically or not. If it is placed at symmetrically, then my number of images will be six. And if it has been placed asymmetrically, then my number of images will form it as seven. So this is the formula which you need to remember, and with that one you can do it out. Now one more situation which we used to observe that if the plane mirrors been placed parallel to each other. So it is possible that uh, two plane mirrors are parallel to each other, which you can can see in a barber shop. So two mirrors are placed parallel to each other over there. So under that situation, the total number of images which is going to form that will be counted to be as infinity. So we will not uh, not be able to say that there are five or four or six uh, images are forming if both the mirrors are parallel to each other. So under that situation, we will observe that infinite number of images can be formed over there. So I hope that you all had understood till here. So is there any doubt or any problem till here? Yes, anyone? No. Okay. So let's move to the next part. So over here we are going to discuss about the difference between the real image and the virtual images, which is going to form. So real images are those images which used to form by the actual intersection of the reflected or the refracted light rays. So when the reflected or refracted light rays actually meet. or actually interact with each other then uh, the image which we used to obtain that is called to be as a real image whereas those images which are formed by the the the, the virtual interaction of or or by virtually if we are making them join with each other that is considered to be as a virtual image and uh, real images can be obtained on a on a screen whereas virtual images can't be obtained on a screen a uh, real images uh, used to be inverted okay remember for this one because uh, over here when we are going to discuss about the spherical mirrors we will see that the images are going to be inverted in some real images 
and for virtual images they used to be erect okay upright next you can say for this thing that the real images uh, uh, are used to be can be as 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 can be obtained by a concave mirror we can obtain it by uh, by concave mirrors uh, convex lenses convex lenses which we will study next and uh, these two two conditions in these two conditions or in these two mirrors or of lenses we will observe that the image has been formed by a real images which you can uh, can see through a projector say as the image which you obtain by a projector that is a real image on the other hand the virtual images can be obtained mainly by the plane mirrors the plane mirror used to form a a virtual image then we used to observe that a convex mirror okay when we go for the convex mirror then we will see that they used to form a virtual images then we will see for concave lenses also concave lenses when we will see for concave lenses over there also we will find that they used to form the virtual images so these are the characters or these are the things which we need to remember for the real image and virtual image because when we study about the the images uh, or the or, or when we go for the characters of the images then we need to write for their their role we need to write for for the kind of image what they used to form so some are forming as real images some are forming as a virtual images so that we need to write so these were the things which we had to regard uh, uh, understand related to the uh, plane mirrors and the image formation related to that now we are moving to the discussion of the spherical mirrors so in a spherical mirror as i had already discussed earlier that spherical mirrors are those mirrors which can be classified to be as a reflecting surface as a curved form or those mirrors which are having a curved reflecting surface they are called to be as a spherical mirror so that is a that is a kind of mirror which we used to obtain So, अभी अभी हम लोगों ने जब प्लेन मिरर्स और स्पेरिकल मिरर्स को स्टडी किया था तो उसमें हम पहले ही बता चुके हैं कि जो कर्व सर्फेस रिफ्लेक्टिंग सर्फेस अगर किसी मिरर की होती है तो उसको हम लोग स्पेरिकल मिरर कहते हैं एंड स्टूडेंट दिस इज नॉट न्यू फॉर यू ऑल आई होप दैट यू ऑल हैड रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग विच वी हैड स्टडी इन क्लास सेवन so actually these two mirrors are formed by a, a a breaking down or cutting down of two spheres jab do sphere ko hum log cut karte hain ya kisi ek sphere ko cut karke do hemisphere nikalte hain uske through hum log nikal sakte hain so suppose maan lo ki hum logon ke paas ek transparent hollow sphere hai ek transparent glass ka hollow sphere hai agar hum log isko do equal parts mein divide kar dete hain agar hum log isko do equal parts mein is tarah se divide kar dete hain to hum logon ke paas do hemisphere aa jayega जो दोनों हेमिस्फेयर आएंगे अगर इसको हम लोग बाहर से कोट कर दें अगर एक हेमिस्फेयर को बाहर से कोट कर दें तो उसका इंटरनल पोर्शन जो है वो मिरर की तरह काम करेगा एंड दैट इज कॉल्ड टू बी एज द कॉन्केव मिरर्स और अगर हम लोग उसको अंदर से कोट कर दें अगर इंटरनली अगर उसको कोट कर दें तो इसका जो आउटर हिस्सा है वो एज अ मिरर की तरह काम करेगा जिसको कि हम लोग एज कॉन्वेक्स मिरर कहते हैं और इन मिरर्स के अंदर कुछ स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट्स होते हैं जैसे कि फॉर एग्जांपल सेंटर ऑफ कर्वेचर हो जाता है फिर हम लोग प्रिंसिपल एक्सेस देखते हैं फिर फोकस देखते हैं फोकल पॉइंट देखते हैं इन सब के डेफिनेशंस को भी हम लोगों ने पढ़ा हुआ है सो यू ऑल जस्ट गो थ्रू दिस वन वेन आई विल गिव द गिव द वीडियो यू ऑल जस्ट पॉज दिस वन आउट एंड यू जस्ट सी थ्रू दिस दिस डेफिनेशन as well as i will i will give the link of another video in which you will you can see that where i had explained these things uh, over there so i am not going to discuss all, all for these things because these things we had studied in our previous classes so you all just go through this one and as i said earlier also that i am going to send the another video also in which i had already defined for these things okay so i will uh, end up the class over here only but you all please rejoin again for 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 10 or 15 minutes again and we will discuss a little bit more on this thing okay so please uh, you all go through these things as soon as this this link is going to end up in very uh, in, in few seconds you all please rejoin we will have a 15 minutes class okay and in that 15 minute class we will discuss uh, a little bit more on this this particular images okay so thank you everyone bye again rejoin